Since 2003, Janine Jansen has also been running her own chamber music festival in Utrecht. She's brought the experiences she gained there to Berlin, and she also introduced new musicians to the group, such as Karel Kreienhoff. Hartmut Rode, professor at the Berlin University of the Arts, has known the violinist since her student days. There are just very many common features, and it gives a lot of pleasure to move around in certain border areas of interpretation, but also of literature. The whole concept Frank Dodge has set up is very impressive. And it's not an ensemble that travels a lot. OK, we're going to America, and we're going to perform in another country. But the real place everything happens is Berlin. There is always something that's a challenge, and that's why it's a wonderful island in concert life. The 15th of May 2003. I always said to my friends here in Berlin, the program we're doing with Spectrum is one of the most beautiful programs ever. Ravel, Sonata for Violin and Cello, Schulhoff String Sextet, Kurtag 17 pieces from the collection, and Glazunov String Quintet. The String Sextet was particularly impressive. It ends very, very tragically and very, very quietly, and the six, seven hundred strong audience were completely silent for at least 40 seconds after the end of the piece. Not a sound. You couldn't hear a thing in the hall. And that wasn't just one of the most intense moments for Spectrum, but in my entire life. You get to experience something like that very, very rarely that the people are so moved that all they can do is sit still. For more than 10 years, all of the Spectrum posters, each a small work of art in itself, have been made here at Ruxaldruck in Berlin, a business that works together with many visual artists and prints art catalogues and is thus often asked for financial support. I think Frank Dodge and the music and everything he represents and this entire concept has impressed us so much that we said, we'll help and do a lot to help you. It's not that we don't get any money for it, but we try to limit it to the bare essentials to make sure he can live and is able to handle his costs. He isn't a normal customer in that sense. There is a friendship that has developed over this long time. Spectrum could almost call the Meta House home. This former transformer station in the Charlottenburg district is an ideal location for intimate chamber music concerts. They've often played here out of gratitude, so to speak. It was in this creative workshop that the brand image of Spectrum Concerts was created. It's been further developed since 1995, a meeting for the anniversary season with the head of design, Uli Meyer Johansson. Yes, Frank has become a production specialist over time and can really achieve a great effect with just a small budget. <laughs> the work with Spectrum Concerts has made many of the employees and their boss into real chamber music enthusiasts. They regularly attend the concerts. Why do they support Frank Dodge? Mm -hmm. There is something we have in common, and that is that we both have the conviction that this is needed to lead a fulfilled life. The economy and financial strength of a business or a society only go together when there is more than just the economic considerations or the figures that bring people together. To this extent, I think this enthusiasm for beauty or for aesthetics or also for beautiful music is incredibly important. You enjoy a kind of freedom you don't find anywhere else in life. And that brings us together. And he is simply an outstanding musician.
As ever, Spectrum Concerts is still supported without public grants by committed music lovers, companies and charities. Rolf Liebermann and Wolfgang Stresemann were honorary members in the fundraising group that was founded in 1995. Most of the concerts were recorded by the Sender Freies Berlin radio station and also broadcast nationwide in the United States. A generous patron, Baroness von Malzahn, is on the fundraising committee. She saved the lineup from bankruptcy several times. I was just thrilled with the idea when he approached me. Originally, he was very American, and I'm American too. That attracted me, of course. But today, all that is unimportant because now it's about the art and the music. As you heard tonight, the way they play together is simply indescribable, especially when you consider that all of them have their own world of music in different countries and cities. Nonetheless, they come together without having a lot of time to practice, and they still manage to achieve this unity. It's a great joy to see Janine's career developing, and the others are also doing so well. Something like this must not be lost. Playing for the first time 